Hey guys, Driver Barn here. Um, so if you pay any attention, I just uh, recently uploaded um, a video showing <clears throat> the speed of an SSD drive versus an HD drive and where that kind of came from is over Christmas break a while back. Um, had some old computers, been laying around the house, had some time off. And I said, you know what? We'll finally do something about it, get around to it. And get them fixed and part of the problem with the Dell was the hard drive was just no good so um, in that process I, I bought a SSD drive I heard they were a lot better I was really impressed with it so I have decided my main computer is time to upgrade that and there's a couple things you'll need and I'm going to show that to you so here you go okay so I have picked up the new hard drive it um at best buy i think it ran about 65 dollars uh, 512 giga gigabyte storage uh, ssd um i don't know if one ssd is really that much better than the other so you know um i wanted at least this much storage space though because i do have a lot of programs and stuff um, I'm actually replacing the one terabyte hard drive that's in there now with this, but I think I can make do with the with the 500 because I've got additional hard drives that I can use for storage and whatnot. And the other thing you're going to need is because this is a 2.5 drive and all desktop computers, which is what this is going in, um, the bays are 3.5 drive size so you're gonna have to have a converter okay so the last thing um, I'm going to use is an external hard drive enclosure and what this is for is because I want to clone my old hard drive to my new hard drive so I don't have to reinstall windows and reinstall all my programs um, I can just put my computer right back to the way it was the hard drive into this enclosure got something in here, I'm going to take this out first. So that's really all there is to getting it inside the enclosure. Now we have to go over to the computer, uh, make sure it rec it's recognized on the computer. And then there's a program that we're gonna use to clone the drive, the old drive, onto this drive before we put it into the, the physical computer. I'm gonna do. Okay. You may not immediately pop up that that drive is there because it has not been partitioned. And if you do not understand partitioning, um, I may do a video on that later. The program that I found is free. Um, there is a paid version if you need some of the more complexities, but it'll do everything we need it to do here. And it is called um, it's called the Uni Tool. Okay, go to minitool.com, download Partition Manager. Launch the Minitool application. First thing you're gonna do, that's just showing all your drives, but the first thing you're gonna do is actually um, go to the copy wizard. Hit next, pick the disk that you want to copy which is disk one most of the time next select the disk that you want to copy that to this is cloning the drive making it exactly the same fit partitions to the entire disk that way it'll shrink it down and then hit apply 
apply pending changes, hit yes, and it's going to do this whole process. And it's going to, in just a couple seconds here, it's going to say that it cannot complete the entire process inside of Windows. So you do have to hit the restart now. It's going to go in like a DOS type version of this program. And it will finish the rest of the process here. what okay so it did not work um, I went and tried it again I went through my bias settings I messed around with it for a while I changed to legacy uh, bios and it accidentally put it on the wrong disk I messed around with some other stuff I took off secure boot I'll be honest with you I don't know exactly what I did to fix it but if you watch this video to the entirety, you will see that I did get it to work. Um, I tried to recreate that problem, but for whatever reason, um, I could not recreate the problem again. So um, unfortunately, I cannot tell you exactly where the problem is, but I would just suggest mess around with your BIOS settings. Make sure though that you know what you're doing inside your BIOS. If you don't, um, watch some videos on YouTube about it or maybe I'll make some videos uh, just you know make sure you kind of have an idea what you're doing in there all right so here is when I finally got it to work and then once you get the disk copied um, the next part of the video is going to show the actual installation of the disk into the computer and taking out the old hard drive. For quite some time, um, I don't really like the design. The screws are teeny tiny. Couldn't get my fingers on there. I thought I was never going to get those screws in there. Um, the, you can actually put another one up under here. And I was going to put it there, but I finally gave up and just used the top part because I was having such a hard time getting those screws in there. Very, very frustrating the way they made this. Um, anyway, now it's ready to go into the computer and take out the other hard drive that was in there before. Okay, so we have to take the case off. And this just snaps out. Okay, and then the primary hard drive is right there, the green you see right here. So we've got to unhook the power cable and the SATA cable. Okay, and then there's going to be um, there's a couple of screws here. I think it's these four here, I believe. Okay, so that's the old hard drive. Probably need to actually hook these cables in here first because that thing is so deep down there. It's gonna be hard to get my fingers in there. 
after the fact. Um, unfortunately, my tripod broke on me, so I'm going to have to turn this off while I do some of this. But I'll show you the finished product when I get done. Okay. Hopefully you can see under there. those connectors back in there okay now it's time to slide this in and put these screws hopefully you can tell all right guys um that screw this screw this one this one locks that crate in the place now all I have to do is put the cover back on and put the screw back in the back and boot it up and we should be good to go. Okay so now that that's done uh, we just go re turn the computer um, on and we'll see if it boots into Windows like it's supposed to. And if that all works out, then we're done and uh, mission accomplished.